Yo! What is up, my fellow Rogamons? Welcome back to the channel. And I told you we were gonna do it, man. We got that Lost Origin booster box. Let's jump right into it and not waste any more time. Check it out. Shout out to Trevor, man. He ordered a Lost Origin booster box. He ordered a couple. And yeah, I snagged one off of him. Pretty sick, pretty sick. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the trainer gallery this one. We're not gonna like, you know, waste any time on this. We're going for the trainer gallery mostly. Of course, we wanna see those altars and everything, but trainer gallery first and foremost. Super sick, this is legit. I don't remember where it's from. Um, I'll tell you next video. It's gonna be a two-parter as always that I do for the booster boxes just because why not, man? Why not at all? Yeah, we're going to go with the left side to start off with. And whew, I can't wait, man. I'm just looking for those Pikachus, the Mews, you know. You know the ones I want. I've been saying them the whole time. Hopefully, we can get something good out of this booster box, too. And, yeah. Let's shout out to Trevor, man. Really appreciate you getting this. Let me get one. Lightning to start it off. It is a dark. We're going to go right into it. Oh, I didn't know there's Galarian Stunfist, my boy, man. You remember Galarian Stunfist from Darkness of Blaze? Super sick, but how you guys all been doing? Really been appreciating the support lately. For some reason, my videos keep hitting the algorithm when I post them on Fridays. So, you are seeing this video on a Friday. Here's that Pikachu. We're gonna save those Pikachus. And yeah, I think I'm gonna do Fridays from now on just because, you know, I've been getting really good views on Friday. Hey, the very first to start it off, the Hisuian Arcanine. And I actually brought sleeves this time for the back one. Just a regular Mr. Mime. But dude, that's dope. That's one of the regular ones. Obviously, the other regular one I want is the Pikachu. And I wouldn't mind getting the Parasect. Um, I forgot which ones I pulled. I pulled the Cast Form and I pulled another one. I forget though exactly what it is. But hey, we'll get them sleeved up. That is super sick. Hisuian Arcanine, <coughs> just with your trainer from the game. So that's pretty cool, man. From the Legends Arceus game, you got the trainer in. Hey, we're on the board to start off with, man. I'm thinking this booster box is gonna be heat, man. We're gonna see how many hits we can get total from the booster box, just from one side, the left side. But yeah, you know, there's not that, there's not too many besides the Guarantina, dude. That one's worth like, I don't know why that one's still above that. Like that one's $240. That might be the other alternate card of the year, man. It's above that Charizard. There's the code. I don't think I gave you the code of the other one, man. I am slipping up today. There you go with that one. But yeah, the Guarantina sent it over $200. Lightning, again, no. Um, the Aerodactyl sitting at over $100. So I think those might go down, but maybe not, though. The set's been out for a few weeks, so we'll see. We'll see if that happens or not. Who knows? Some of the trainer galleries, obviously, the Pikachu VMAX is worth the most. I think it's worth like 40 bucks. Kitty knows what is up. He came down as soon as I started talking to you guys. What up, Kitty? There you go. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like re-watching my videos to make sure they're all right, and I just hear the cat in the background. I think it's him in actual life when it's just the video. Ooh, the Rosalia and the Hasuian Arcanine again, bro. That's hilarious. I love that artwork, though. That's super sick. Um. Ooh, major print line, major something on that card. I can't tell. You see that print line, though. Woo, okay. Not the best quality control, but hey, man. <laughs> Suey and Arcanine. Regular Arcanine. Or regular, uh, not regular Arcanine, but you know what I mean. The regular Hollow and the Trainer Galley, I guess, is a Suey and Arcanine box. I'm surprised he didn't get his own, like, uh, you know, like the Black Border one, which the ones are worth the... Um, the most, but hey, we'll take him, man. I'm thinking though, these boost boxes, like I said, are gonna be a hit, fire, woo, and yeah. Super sick, man. Trevor's never given me a bad booster box either. You saw the last booster box he gave me, we pulled the Rainbow Charizard, the one I wanted, which was actually hilarious. That's a Kamiya, bro. Okay, I was wondering how many he did in this one. I don't like this one as much. This one is just weird, dude. Huh, not too bad, but that Gloom one was definitely popping off. You know, we'll always go back to the bulk and pick out all the Camillas. Pretty easy to do. The Rosalia, the Rockruff. The Seal, and oh, the Radiant Gardevoir. And I'm 
seeing something on the back of this one too, man. The double hitter. Bro, we're just going off on these packs, bro. Three for three to start it off. And the Galarian Berserker V. So I will actually be posting prices because I mean, it's been out for like, what, two or three weeks now? I actually pulled a Radiant Gardevoir already. So um, I pulled it out of a three pack blister. I don't remember if I said that, but I did not, that one was not on camera though. That was just, you know, <laughs> a one I opened up off camera. And of course it had some super good hits in it. <laughs> so we got the Radiant Guard of where I'm still looking for that Steelix. That's the one I really want. And I can't remember what the other one is, but the Steelix definitely. But hey man, I think you're guaranteed about like two per box, you know, on those Radiant cards. So hopefully we'll get the Steelix next. But dude, this is going so good so far, man. I'm telling you, shout out to Trevor once more. He just keeps bringing the heat on the booster boxes. Here's that V-Star. Jump right into it. But yeah, man, I guess we'll get a chance to see a bunch of cards we haven't seen yet. Just because there is 198 cards in this set, which is absolutely ridiculous. But some of them are kind of cool, man. I guess if you play the game... I always ask this. If you play the game, do you like that they put this many cards in it? Is it good for the meta? Because I feel like... You know, I feel like half these cards don't even get played in the meta. <laughs> anyway, like... You know, there's like three or four decks that absolutely dominate and people just play those so i don't really know why they keep adding more cards oh another pikachu man oh the relic oh that's a super sick relic hand. who is it okay i've never heard of that really enjoying that relic hand, though. i really like the artwork man there's all a variety when there's this many cards though they have to employ a bunch of illustrators just to make make them but yeah you saw that we got the glizzy down and on each side, it's 18, I want to say. Yeah, 18 packs. Two, three, four. This is the fifth one, man. We got so many to go. <laughs> it is absolutely ridiculous. So Make sure we get him, man. We got the Glizzy, though, where he's going to bless us, dude. I think we're just going to, like, do it right after this one. <laughs> because why not, man? Why not? Just get them all. Hopefully, we'll get a good left side going. We're going to go Lightning again, though. It is fire. Did I see this, man? Did I see right? Okay. Not as off-center as I thought it was. I thought it was a little bit off-center, but yeah. You got these ones, like the Lost Zone cards. I still don't know what they are. Let me know down below if you actually know what they actually do. I know it's just the mechanic of the game. And so is it actually good, though? Are people actually doing the Lost Zone, or is it still just like the new VMAX and all this other stuff dominating? <laughs> the meta. <laughs> the Arceus and everything like that. But yeah, man, these these artworks are super sick, though. Apom, man, Apom. I guess he's making his return. The reverse rare, dude. You know how I do with the Electros. Seems like Electros is in every uh, set, too. And the Malamar, which is a Komiya as well, dude. Look at... Okay, now that is super sick, dude. Like I said, that Komiya binder, man. I'm going to have to show you that Komiya binder one day on stream to show you how many sick cards there are. But, you know, like I said, we got to get into it. We got to bring our dog out because you know what time it is. Say it with me. It's time for the... It's the Glizzy Rubdown. Woo! That's right. It's the Glizzy Rubdown. You know, we swoop on in. And we're going to bless this left side of the pack. You can see it. Just rub it all over, put them back, and... But I'm feeling some good stuff from this booster box, man. It would be amazing if we could actually pull an alt art because alt arts are really hard on the set to pull, apparently. Pull rates are not great. Crap, even the Giratina um, Rainbow or whatever, man. That one's super not... Uh, that one's like one of 2,000 packs. Like, you can't even collect full sets anymore. We're going to go... We'll go dark for the Giratina Steel. I wonder if he is Steel type. I don't know. I forget what it is, but that would be, that's actually the chase card of the day. Well, chase card of the day is PGV Max, but from the main set, it's the Giratina, obviously. Not from the trainer gallery. <laughs> okay, the panic mess was kind of reminding me. Okay, we're getting like a repeat of all these other ones, man, that we've already seen. Super sick, and is anyone getting excited for that Charizard UPC? I know they went on the pre-release on some websites but man they just got botted they were pre-release at gamestop Ooh, the zororic and oh we got a full art baby 
Hey, the Del Fox V4 art. Okay. Not my favorite one. I was looking for the Aerodactyl, but hey, not too bad, man. We'll take a full art and have these packs. I mean, they just keep hitting, bro. We got like four good hitters so far out of like six packs, so <laughs> can't complain about that, man. That's why you gotta love these boxes. Super sick. Del Fox V, but yeah, the Charizard UBC, man, they went on sale at GameStop. You could pre-order them. But I would recommend if you ever do that or get the chance, put the full money down rather than the five bucks. But yeah, people were ordering like, Rogue Mom actually got there like five minutes too late and they said they had been called to stop pre-orders because obviously they were getting flooded with them. Because people could do like a hundred at five dollars each, you know? So, lightning. Ooh, psychic. So, you know, it makes it unfair. It's whatever, though, but... Yeah, if you want to know how I get all this uh, information, too, I've linked it down below, the Twitter page for Pokemon Dross, man. They'll just... If you have a Twitter account, follow them, turn on that bell, and, dude, it'll hit your phone right when the tweet comes out. They're usually really good, like, right on time. Right when everything's good to Komiya. Komiya did not do the Inke. He just did the Malamar, but the Inke looks sick, too. I really like that. I'm really liking that. But yeah, unfortunately, the UPC is going to get botted. I think, though, you'll have a good chance of finding a store. I found the UPCs in store for the celebration, so I think I'm going to have no problem getting a Charizard one. A, because it's not as hype anymore. I mean, people are still reselling them, though. For the resellers, they'll be out in blood to get those. The card, the sports cards collectors and all them, man, they'll be out. Another reverse rare, man. You know I'm the king of reverse rares. And just a little lonely spirit to him. <laughs> Yeah, just expect that, man. You might have to camp out. Not sure, but I don't think it'll be too hard to go. I just do not buy the ones where people are uh, pre-sailing them for, like, over MSRP, dude. Do not even support that. Do not buy that if they do that. That is a terrible company. So, yeah, just do not do that because uh, unlike the uh, regular UPCs, there probably will be a few waves of them and maybe, like, a reprint because they don't have the... Lightning again. Dang it. They don't have the gold cards. Like those, uh, the Charizard and the Pikachu, the gold metal cards. So they won't be bogging down everything. That was really, like, because I was in the height of COVID and production and everything, and they were really harder to make than just regular cards. Not Pokemon's firing on all cylinders, dude. I don't see this UPC being that scarce. So that's just my two cents on it. You do whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. I'm just not going to support uh, people scalping that item. Or any item, for that matter. So, woo, Cole Ress's experiment. And <laughs> the Basket Legion. Let's go. Not bad. I just hate the hollows, man. I just hate how they do hollows now. They're just so, I don't, I don't like them. I don't like the hollow pattern. They need to come up with a new hollow pattern that actually looks cool or just phase out regular hollows all together. Because it's so disappointing when you get that black border and then it's just a, just a regular hollow, man. <laughs> it never ends up good. It's just always demoralizing. Just make it a V card, man. They're already only worth 50 cents anyway. Psychic. I was about to say, dude, it's probably lightning this time that I didn't say it. The Haunter, though, they do have some good Pokemon in this. These are, I'm assuming these are all Pokemon from, uh, well, first it's probably called Lost Origin because it's the Lost Zone, and then, um, it wasn't that in the game, too. I had to forget what they're, the Outbreaks or something. Not the Outbreaks, but when you go into the Little Zone, maybe that is the Lost Zone. I can't remember. Like I said, I didn't play the game that much. I should, though. I'm actually excited for the new game, though. Ooh, there's another Komiya. Ooh, Komiya coming in strong in this one, dude. Look, look at that. Oh, that is so sick. Can't get enough of them. Who's in the background? There's some little kids and stuff. That's hilarious. <laughs> See, some of them is his are so trippy, like that's a viper. You can't really tell them. And some of them are just like awesomely drawn. Like, I think it's like a uh, colored pencil or something like that. I want to say how he gets them. The regular seal and the metric. Okay, okay. So, so far, the like, Lizzie hasn't done anything for us, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've opened up half this side, so we've still got half to go. It's definitely gonna be a little longer video, probably like 24 minute video or something, 25 minutes or something. Definitely gonna keep it under that 30 range. 
But yeah, we'll keep firing on through them. I don't want them to be too long, especially since it only has a booster box. Lightning. The grass, bro. Okay. But yeah, we are looking for that gold Mew, gold Pikachu, or any Pikachu trainer gallery card. And we're going to get hyped for that. <laughs> and of course, any, any alternate art or secret rare, man. I would love to get a secret rare. I don't know if there's a gold. Is there a gold Pokemon in this one? I know there's gold V-Star, but usually the gold ones are like, woo! Okay, I guess we're not getting our Pikachu in this one, man. But we got the Cinescore to D-Max. Actually, I do love this one because I am a huge fan of Kabu, dude. Kabu is definitely one of my favorites from Sword and Shield, so. Okay, we got the Cinescore to D-Max. Nothing on the end of the Parasect. And, yeah, you know, not too bad. It kind of sucks, though, because uh, we're not going to be getting the Pikachu V-Max or the Pikachu V in this one. But we did get a nice little Cinescorch VMAX. It looks super sick. I'm collecting all the uh, trainer galleries anyway, so. Yeah, that's super awesome, man. Like, honestly, it's a super sick card. I don't think it's worth that much, but definitely one of the better VMAXs, in my opinion, for sure. We'll, we'll cover up the Radiant Guard if we don't need to see it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. A little, little anticlimactic on that one, but you never know, man. You could get another gold card. I've had gold cards and those in the same one, so, you know, who knows? I still could get that gold Mew or gold Pikachu. You never know. <laughs> We're going to go lightning. Come on, for the first time, we did it. Never give up on your dreams. <laughs> and there's that gloom, uh, the Kamiya gloom that I was talking about. I absolutely love that card. I think it's my, that's my favorite, like, non-rare card in the whole set. So, definitely love that one. The Gastrogans. I think I'm seeing maybe a trainer gallery on this one too. Who knows? I don't want to get my hopes up though. <laughs> I could be wrong. It's cool to actually see some of these other cards though. The 196, the ones I haven't seen like Ducklet, dude. <laughs> you gotta love those claymations. The Zerura. And uh, I'll give you a little tip though. Uh, see how like that is not colored in? That just means you can actually just use that move for free. You don't have to attach any energies or anything. Some people sometimes think it's like a misprint or something. No, it just means there's no action. No trainer gallery. <laughs> Draw a card, please. The binnacle. And oh! Yes, this Conda too. I think I might have to start collecting uh, Shinji Conda. Because look at these, dude. I think he made that... Uh, I'm not sure, but I think he made that Magmar card too that I super love, man. This one's so sick, bro. Holy crap. I love those, dude. Those binders also look so sick with all the artwork just as the regular cards, man. It brings you back to your childhood, you know, you're putting every card in a binder, <laughs> everything, so. Yeah, super sick on that one, holy crap. Conda, Conda, I'll have to remember that. I think I say that every time I open one of, view one of his cards and I just never have remembered it. Uh, grass, Voiting. okay. The Luminion, it always trolls me. At least the Luminion is not a rare in this one like it was in the other one. It had a whole, I, how does Luminion have a whole alt art and Volcarona has not got his debut yet? Also, I'm saying in the new set too, uh, um, Alolan Vulpix better have an alternate art. Better not just be a V-Star, I swear. Like, cause I really want to collect that set. I really want to chase that card. But, you know, if not, it's not going to be worth chasing. So <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I don't want them to do wrong like they did Darkrai wrong on his own set. Hey, the Landers. And for the final one. Ooh, what could that be? I can't remember. I don't remember all the cards. Ooh, the Giratina V. I've actually pulled this card as well. The Giratina V. Not bad, though. I think the V-Star is actually worth a little bit. So, yeah, definitely... Definitely a playable card in the new one. I don't know exactly what it does, but I know Giratina V and Giratina V Star are definitely playable cards. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool one. So you know, we got the five remaining packs. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me this long. I know it's not been a big opening. I haven't done booster boxes in a while, and every time I do booster boxes, it's hard to know how to pace them and different things like that like it's yeah i just it's just hard to open up boost box like man open up 18 packs in one video let alone some some creators like what's the v star they honestly open like <laughs> a whole booster box will open in like 15 minutes like dude we're even trying to look at the cards like me you know you know what you get from me i like to go through every single card and kind of look at it. i'm not really a speed opener 
because a i'm not even that rich like i'm not rich at all so i like to enjoy my openings rather than just firing through and getting to the rare card Whereas some other bigger YouTubers, you know, they're just getting booster boxes on the daily, man. They've gone through hundreds, thousands of cards a week. Like, <laughs> you know, this is my one time a week. I get to have fun, open a card. Let's go. Let's go, Rogamons. We got the Pikachu. And the good thing about this Pikachu, if you never noticed, there's a little heart right here above Pikachu's head. And then that's super sick. Got the Pikachu. And I think I'm seeing a little thing on the back. Nope. Oh, oh okay. Just a hollow chandelure, but let's go, Rogamons. We got one of the Pikachus that we wanted. That is super sick. I'm hoping we're gonna get that Parasect too, because I really like that Parasect. And if we get that one, I think I have a good chance, because I got Spiritomb, Castform, Arcanine, and now this, so I haven't really got a repeat at all. I'm trying to go. Okay, that's the poll of the day right now, that Pikachu. Mm, that's from like a long set ago. That's from... Uh, I forget what set that's from. Some of these are from the VMAX All Stars or whatever. Like, I forget what the actual set is in Japan, man. They, they combined a bunch of sets on this one. So, Lightning for you, bro. The fire. <laughs> so, dude, it's so awesome to see that Pikachu. I'm, just, whew, I'm okay. I'm happy now, man. I'm happy. <laughs> this first half of the box is actually super nice. Let's go. We're getting plenty of Komias, you know. I do about two of each card, two of each Komiya, different one. And try to get the best looking one in the binder. I mean, I'll put them both in the same sleeve though. Like, you know. Cause they're not really worth too much, but they look super sick together. The Iskan, let's go. And for the final one, the Macargo and the Lost Zone. Oh, that's another, nope, that's not, it's not the Condi. But it is a super sick looking card. Final three though. I can't wait, man. There's really nothing coming out besides that Zard UPC until, uh, you know, I try. I might try to open up a little bit more Pokemon Go. I never got a chance to open up the Squirtle, Bulbasaur, or, uh, Charmander. When I didn't even know that was coming out, by the time it did, it was all gone off the shelves. Psychic. Hey, let's go. So, yeah, you never know on that. Um, but, yeah, I'm not really sure what's coming up between then. Uh, my birthday is coming up, though, so... Yeah, probably gonna have to open up Hidden Fates for the birthday. <laughs> finally, I think I promised you guys Hidden Fates so long ago. I think I finally got around to it, but I'm gonna open up an ETB, I think, for my birthday. It's either the ETB of Hidden Fates or the Shining Legends uh, Pikachu. So which one should I open? Let me know. I'm kind of torn, because I really want to... I know I have my chase cards from Shining Legends, but I kind of want to pull them myself and see if I can. <laughs> But, you know, you never know. <laughs> I probably burnt that bridge already. <laughs> so, yeah, if you made this front of the video, let me know. Shining Legends or Hidden Face for my birthday. I mean, obviously, I might do a, a bigger poll, but I kind of want to get a little idea of what everyone's thinking. And don't say both, because if you say both, no, I'm not that rich. I wanna, I'm going to go big for my birthday, but I'm not going to open up a Hidden Fates and Shining Fates in the same video. I'll probably open up some Pokemon Go. Maybe I'll get a few uh, older sets too. Who knows? We'll see. Lightning. I've been wanting to open some Burning Shadows just to see. And uh, some people have them for like a little cheap, like little three packs for a little cheaper. So, you know, you never know. You never know. But the, the big ticket item is either going to be the ETB or the uh, Pikachu box on Shining Legends. So, yeah, just trying to get a feel of what I should actually open. Because that'll be super sick. Dynamo. Oh, we didn't get no trainer gallery. I don't think we're gonna get another trainer gallery on this side though. We got two, we actually got three on this side. So, but I don't know how Pokemon does their uh, boxes, but man, let's see if we get a pull on the last one. If not, let's first have the box is actually pretty legit. Pretty legit, pretty good hit rates. Nothing too uh, crazy though, but we got my Pikachu and that's all that matters. Fire is water. It's water. <laughs> is can the dollar? Ooh, the oh, actually though I lied. The Orbital V Max trainer card would be another one that I'd want to get. I just love that Pokemon, the UFO. It's super sick. Orbital is a super sick Pokemon. One of my favorites for sure. I like. I love. I'm not like in love with Bug Pokemon, but I do like my fair share of Bug Pokemon, including Volcarona, obviously the best Bug Pokemon to ever exist. The Phantom. Ooh, 
yeah, we didn't get anything on this. The wind up arm, okay. Not bad, and to end it off, <laughs> just the regular Electra. So let's go through the hits real quick though. Three trainer galleries, <laughs> super sick. The Arcanine, the Pikachu, and then the big hitter, Cenoscorch VMAX. The Pikachu might be worth a little more though, I don't really know. Then we got our one Radiant card, which we're expecting a couple. So that's four. And then five, six, seven hits and then a couple there's like three or hollows so yeah we did pretty good the guaratina v berserker and the delphox v man hopefully we can do better than a full art rogamons but okay uh thanks for tuning in with me for this first half of the booster box it's actually finally good to get back to booster boxes dude you know you're guaranteed hits fun to open especially this set man uh still brilliant stars is my favorite set uh recently but you know, Lost Origins has those trainer uh, gallery cards that just cannot pass up. So we're going to try in the second half of the box to get something big. But until next week, Rogamons, thank you for staying with me. Take it easy. Woo! All right, all right, man. I love opening booster boxes. Shout out to Trevor once again for it. You can check out my other videos, though. They're going to be right over there. And I'll see you next week. Peace!